Hi, I'm Fran Redfern from Community Reporter. I'm here at Mary Magdalene Church Hall with a couple of lads who are working on the project. So, what's your guys' names? My name's Gary. My name's Mike. Okay, and um, so just give us a brief outline of why you're here at Mary Magdalene's. We're here at what's it? Mary, 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 Mary Magdalene. Magdalene. To help out local communities and church halls to get back on back on track and running again. Okay. Um, as I'm, I'm employed with community building, our aim is to help. Um, we help the diocese of Manchester. We've done um, work already for them, and we hope that by improving the centre here, we will be able to improve other centres and other organisations around Greater Manchester. Okay, so double-edged sword is it? Yeah. You're looking for. Uh, more work for community building services who you work for yeah. and um, that will obviously keep you in employment and Mike you're looking to get more work and be in a full time job okay so so you got actually work for community no, building I'm services? I'm just a volunteer at community building at the moment okay so but you're qualified as a, a builder are you? Or? I'm a qualified bricklayer okay but with community building do general labour Oh, okay. So, you don't mind me asking, why don't you look, you know, why haven't you got a job as a bit layer? At the moment, it's hard to get a job doing bit layer, so yeah. I just rather do anything now, anything to do with construction. Okay. Which is this job of community building, so it's helping me out to gain further experience. Right, so, yeah, uh, that's, uh, so that's the key reason for you being here, yeah. to actually get some experience as a builder as well. Yeah. Give me some more experience and more confidence yeah. to go out there and do it. Right, and that's obviously the one one aspect of the yeah, what, uh, community building services. Yeah, uh, we have an as we do two types of training organisation who help disadvantaged people. Okay. And we are also help people in the community by the same disadvantage not disadvantaged people in the community, but the general community where things like the church where they had to shut it down. Yeah. And for a general builder to come in, the, the commercial rate would be so extortionate that it run the business to the ground. But we, we don't charge rates, we charge like cost for um, management, supervision, PPA, to keep, that, to keep the cost down for the centres to minimum, that's what we aim for. Oh, right, okay. Tell me then, Gary, Gary what is community building services? Community building was set up um, last year, um, basically first of all was to help people, general people in um, basic construction. We have a um, purpose built um, training facility in Trafford Park, but as we found out that a lot of people who were good at building or good at construction went to college, but the people in college that were disadvantaged were put to the back of the classroom and didn't really get the help. So we give them experience in our warehouse and in our training facility as well as giving them site visits and giving them the basic lowdown of how construction works yeah. and we don't segregate them away from the general public, we make it as realistic and we treat them as fair as we can. Nothing, if they have dyslexia or if they have problems at home, they can't speak properly, if they can't do that we don't criticise, we build on their confidence to make them more employable. So by disadvantaged people you mean people who obviously can't We've got, say, speech impediment. Um, not people like disadvantaged in the way where they're disabled and stuff like that. Okay. We, a wide range of dis dis disadvantaged people are like people who live in poverty, yeah. as well as people who live in uh, rundown areas. And as myself, I live in um, Salford myself, and where I live is very rundown. Yeah. And I strive myself to do better than other people. And that's what I hope to give other people the experience of, because I'm only 19 now trying to get apprenticeships and going to college and once you leave school it's a big world out there and people don't realise that. Yeah. So have you been through like an apprenticeship? I've, I've been through the telltales of um, phoning up, going for interviews, doing tests and the big companies, if you don't have good grades, they don't want you and that's what we aim to do is by, they might not have fantastic grades but we make sure they have the experience, they have a portfolio, they have the confidence and they have the knowledge of going to uh, interview and positive that they'll be able to go. Yeah. At the moment we are actually um, 
working in partnership with Langwell Rock as they're doing like a scheme to help people who are not um, on the point goals are called where they can't get where they're not as high achievers and we work with them to help improve their skills in life to get to go back to interviews and move on to apprenticeships and stuff like that. So that's what we aim for. By with the community projects, we give them the site experience as well as we give the community a helping hand, and and they can also come in and get involved and stuff like that. Yeah, and back to me double edged sword thing. Mm. So, what projects have you worked on, Mike, other than this? I've worked on. A, oh, what's that? Worked on a, an old Victorian school. Worked to turn it into a. It was a faith group. A faith group. We've also worked on a unlim unlimited. They're, they're a social enterprise. They're a social enterprise, in charge of the social enterprise. Whereas they get involved and get money for companies and stuff. And I've all, also worked in a mother and baby unit in Burma. Oh, really? And we've done other churches across, well, one in Watchdale and... Is that churches and Ryan. church halls? No, or just a, that was just a church. This is our first church hall. Oh, okay. And hopefully we'll get many out of it. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, again, you just, it's all general building. Yeah, it's all just general building. So how, how do you get paid for volunteering or? Do you get expenses? We, we, get our, we get our dinner bought for us and sometimes we get like, a treat at the end of the week. Okay. But it's not all the time. Well, um, thanks Gary, thanks Mike. Thanks very much for that. Uh, well, I'll see you next week for part three of the project.